I'm asleep here, oh, I need to climb out <laughs> through the window. And this is like 2 1 in the morning. So nobody can come. Like, it's already past curfew. And this is the one and only time I didn't take my cell phone with me to the bathroom. I always take my cell phone with me in case something like that happens. She leave me stuck in the window. <laughs> like, literally. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Adrian and I got stuck in the bathroom. As you can tell by the thumbnail, the title, everything. So, in today's video, I'm just going to be telling you the story behind what exactly happened and how lit it was. But before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and without any more introduction, let's get into the video. Okay, so let me start off by giving context, because otherwise the whole story, you're going to think I'm stupid and I don't know how to open a bathroom door, which is not the case. <laughs> So, my grandparents come here quite often, right? And both of them have that venture. So, when they come, we don't leave the keys in the doors in case they lock the door and they don't know how to, like, get out of the bathroom and stuff, okay? So, this time around, they was now gone, so my mommy now puts the keys back in the doors. So, I go shower, I lock the door, it locked fine, everything was okay. So, next thing I know, my mommy starts talking to me, like, but I obviously couldn't hear. So, I said to her, come to the door, open the door. And talk to me through the door because I can't hear you, right? So my mommy comes to the door, she opens, but nothing happens. She's like, did you lock the door? I'm like, oh, maybe I did. Like, in my subconscious, it's fine. And let me quickly do it. So I get out, I'm doing this. The key literally was not, it uh, went a little bit, but then it got stuck. And I'm like, the door won't open. So she's like, what do you mean? I'm like, the door won't open. So I'm like, anyway, in my mind, I'm like, look here, I'm supposed to shower in, <laughs> I don't have time for this. So I took the key out, luckily there's like enough gap under the door, and I threw the key to my mommy under the door, right? I continue showering, I'm like, that's 10 minutes time's worries. <laughs> right now, let me just shower in peace. And the whole time I'm showering, this lady trying to unlock the door, unlock the door, nothing's happening. So, next thing I know, she went to go fetch the whole toolbox, trying to loosen the whole door, what do you call it? The handle thing. Still nothing's happening. So now, I was now finished showering. So I'm like, okay, send the key back under the door. She sends it back to me. I'm turning, I'm turning, I'm turning. Nothing's happening. So I'm like, look here, girl. Either I'm asleep here or I need to climb out <laughs> through the window. So either bring me food or help me get out of here. So she's like, okay. My mom now goes outside. She brings a ladder to the window. Luckily, luckily, your girl teeny tiny. Okay, I'm compact size. So for those of you that don't know, I'm only like 146. So I'm like super small. Super tiny, so I could fit through this like small window. It's maybe, I don't know, it's about, I would say, 50 centimeters. It can't, it can't be more than that, right? So like a ruler and like a little. So I'm like, okay, I need to now get through this window. So my mom and I goes outside, she brings a ladder, and I almost climb through this window. But I am laughing because it's so funny at this point, and I find everything funny in life. So I'm laughing, I'm laughing, I'm laughing. She's like, Aiden. You need to focus now and she's also laughing obviously she's like you need to focus because if you're gonna laugh you're gonna haha -ha, and then i might fall back knock my head like it could be like a serious disaster i'm like okay it's fine i understand so let me just you know scene and then i'll climb through the window fine so i'm like okay i think i'm ready i'm calm whatever and now i obviously can't st stand on the basin because the basin is right by the window so i had to now move the little like cassie thing cupboard for those who don't know a small cupboard thing Stand on the cupboard thing, which is lower than the basin. So I'm like standing, like stretching my legs, like somebody's doing gymnastics in the Olympics. You know that, or oh, not even that, you know, in Karate Kid, where Jaden kicks the thing, like that was me <laughs> trying to like get through the window. So I got my one leg out and my other leg out. As soon as I get like both legs out, my mommy starts laughing. And so now I'm laughing, and now I have to hold tight and I can't move. Because I'm most not gonna fall. I'm like, this lady tells me don't laugh because you're gonna fall. She starts laughing. I'm kidding. My mom is like, we should take a photo. She leave me stuck in the window. <laughs> like literally, I'll show you the picture. I'll insert it here. I'm literally the whole way stuck in the window. She come inside. She go fetch a phone and like takes pictures of this moment. I'm already crying of laughter. Bear in mind, this is like 2 1 in the morning. So. Nobody can come, like it's already past curfew and we're just making a noise basically because we was not outside. Anyway, eventually I now climb through the window. So by the time I'm outside of the window, I'm like, listen, should I have not maybe taken the key out of the door? <laughs> so I left the key in the door. So I'm like, should I have not like take the key 
out so then if we try and like fix it then there was no key in the door and I was telling him maybe you gave me the wrong key because you always take the keys out and put them back in maybe you gave me the wrong key she's like no Aiden that is the right key that is the right key okay fine she's like you know what it's too late now tomorrow morning you can climb back in and take the key out so I'm like okay chill so now I was supposed to go live on, on, on TikTok that night but I was like you I'm not there I'm mentally not there so I just left it and it was too late at that point, like who's gonna go live at 1 o'clock? Well, I'm usually live till about 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, but I mean I start at like 11. So I'm like no, uh-uh, it's too late. And people already send me messages on TikTok, when you're going live, we're waiting for you, waiting for you. And this is the one and only time I didn't take myself and with me to the party. I always take myself and with me in case something like that happens. Luckily my mommy was here so she could open the door but like in my mind I always picture that scenario happening when I'm stuck in the bathroom and then what? Imagine I was alone at home, like how was I gonna, you know, get out? I wouldn't die, like I had enough water to drink and like, you know, all those kind of things. But still, so anyway, then my mommy tells me the next morning, so the next morning I wake up I see the doors open. So I'm like, no, how now? <laughs> how did the door open? So she's like, Asian, I must tell you. I'm like, what? If you don't know my mommy, there's other videos on my channel. You can check it out of me and my mommy. But that lady, that lady on that video. My mom is a little bit taller than me. I'm like 146. She's maybe about 151 or something like that. Right? She's like, I think I couldn't sleep. <laughs> so, because we obviously couldn't set the alarm if the window was open. So I'm like, okay, so what? So she said, I was talking to her whisper. Also, Holy Spirit to just show me like what what happened? Is it the wrong key or whatever? Then the Holy Spirit tells about the key that's in the whole separate room, a whole separate place, which was actually the right key to the bathroom. But be in mind, she couldn't was now test it because I left the key in the door. So this lady decided four o'clock in the morning she's gonna do like the reverse of what I did. So she went, I'm sleeping, I didn't know any of this happened. <laughs> she went outside put the ladder there and she climbed into the house through the window obviously now took the key out the, be the wrong key out and the key that she found she put in the door and that actually worked i'm like are you serious she's like yeah because she couldn't sleep because it was bothering her the whole time and like what must happen in the morning so also when i climbed out the window we must not even know when the door is going to open so I had to not take all the essentials out for the next day so the toothbrush, the toothpaste, the face cloths everything had to now come out you know, for what we needed so anyway, and in our in our house like the toilet is like in one room and then like in a separate room where there's the bath and the basin and the stuff so if I was stuck there I wouldn't have a toilet but I would have said I have like a basin and a bath <laughs> and shower so anyway, so she now managed to bob the boulder, open the door but the whole door frame was already up but she gave me the wrong key so that is what happened it's not that i'm stupid because a lot of people are like how do you get stuck in a bathroom like are you daddy like how do you not know how to open i know how to use a key i know how to open the door if my mommy gave me the right key so i just had to tell you guys the story and at least i have like pictures and everything of this moment it was pretty funny so i just had to tell you guys because like i said you guys like my story time videos and it was just hilarious and i needed to tell someone i only told like a handful of people about it because I was like, I must make a story time of this so people actually know the drama of what happened. So, yeah, right now, I don't know. You can't really see on my arm, right? But, like, just a small piece over here. Yeah, you can't really see it yet. <laughs> Give it, like, a couple of days. Because this happened, like, not last night, the night before, like, two nights ago. But, like, my arm, if I do this, just look. It's fine, it's fine. And then they, like, you see, this is how I reacted. Like, it's so the, it's so, my mommy says I'm delusional, like, it's not blue. It's not blue yet. It's not blue yet. So my only saw because obviously I had to now you know hold onto the window and I'm super short. So there was literally a part from the like the window to the ladder where I had to like almost free fall in a way and hope that I could reach because I'm too short. The same like when I go hiking on Lion's Head, when you must climb that thing, like the last one, the pole is too high up, so I can't reach. So it was like essentially the same thing that happened there. So that's so like just here underneath my leg because obviously I'm sitting on the window frame. And you know like the window has that piece where you must hook the thing on So I also had to like dodge that thing because I couldn't have that thing like up my bum <laughs> So I had to sit also like at an angle to try and like get out So all the weight is now obviously like on this one leg So like right under over here, it was so freak so So my whole body is just so And I told mommy, you know what, like I don't understand how people can like be burglars <laughs> Because there's a lot of effort and it's really so like I would rather just get a job and go through all this drama <laughs> and they have to do it quick also like I don't know I don't know 
Hey, anyway, so I hope you guys like this video. <laughs> you can check out my playlist on YouTube. There is a whole lot of other crazy story times of just weird nonsense that happens in my life. Which is why I say I deserve a reality show. Because my life nonsense is not even scripted. These things just happen. Okay, this would have been a nice episode. But <laughs> anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to comment and share and do all those other YouTube things. And I'll see you guys in the next video.